let's move on to uh, talking about our experience at Mythos Restaurant. Yes. Uh, this has we been ate, here for a while. Yeah, we ate here mm, was it two weekends ago. Two weeks. Was it last weekend? I think it was last week. It was last weekend. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I think time is going by. I think your definition of time is slowly, yeah, apparently. It's not going well. Yeah. Okay. So we ate at Mythos. And um, where is Mythos Restaurant, Jared? It's in the Lost Continent in Islands of Adventure. Probably eventually will yep. be the place where Zelda goes. But as of right now, it's in the Lost Continent. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no rumors about that. Not at all. Not at all. Lost Continent is basically <laughs> a place to get food right now. There's really not much yeah. else going on. But this restaurant's been there for a while. It's had. It's been there since it op- since the opening day of the park. Yeah, and it's got it's yep. won some awards. A lot of people talk really good things about it. So we uh, finally sat down to try it. Yeah, Theme Park Insider named it the best theme park restaurant in the world. I think, and th- there's that banner that's right over the front is door. Is the banner that still there? Tell- oh yes, it okay, is. Okay. Oh yes, it well, is. Well, I know at one point it had the date. It was one year it said that, and then they just and put, they took the date. Yeah, but it so I mean technically it, it's like. <laughs> It's like a, a website gave them an award and they just talk about it all the time, which, hey, I would too. Don't blame <laughs> them. But, but yeah. But like in terms of theming wise, yeah. this thing is great. So it's very, it's very like, again, we're, I think Greek is our theme today. Greek and Seems so. mytho, my, mythology and the gods and stuff. So yeah, it's like rock formations. You kind of w- walk in, you're, you're in like a grotto, like a huge cave, and you've got mythical characters like carved into the stone. Um, I think you see like Zeus and um, who else do you see? Atlas. Um, I don't know the specific. You see people, like but. there's mermaids. There's there's waterfalls inside the restaurant. Mm-hmm. There's fountains. It does seem like it you're eating gorgeous. inside of a cave. It really is. You're yeah. eating in a cave. You're eating in a cave. That's that's cool. I and like I will say it was a hot day. We were there and the AC was really nice. I bet it's really easy to keep that place cool too. Well, it doesn't have a lot of windows mm-hmm. for that reason. So yeah, it, again, yeah. it kind of I'm wondering how much insulation on there because it does give that cave vibe. Obviously, you're not in a cave. But. No, it's not rock. I mean, it, it's concrete, yeah. but it looks like rock, obviously. Um, but yeah, so we were really excited to be here. We obviously we have we have never been here, and we walked by it like I don't know how many times, a thousand times. Hundreds of times. I was going to say hundreds, but you went to, oh, we're going hundreds? You went to thousands. Okay, that's so. cool. A lot of times. <laughs> and we're like, you know, we need to try this because it's one of two like actual restaurants that you can sit down and like, like a uh, little serve with a server um, in Alza Adventure. The other one being, uh, what's the other one? Confisco Grill at the front of the park. And we've eaten there. And we've eaten there. So we're yeah. like, we can even try this. So, um, yeah. So what kind of food do they have there, Jared? I mean, the food is, it's Greek food. For the most part, I mean, it's, um, I, yeah, Greek food. Greek. Which makes sense because you're in the, you know, your Greek gr- grotto, if you will. Greek grotto. Little little Italian, little Mediterranean. Again, this is our theme for the episode today. Um, what, did, what do you want to talk about what we, we got? That'd probably be a good place to start. Okay. I would, Im- I would imagine. <laughs> we got the, sp- how do you, I can't say it, Spana Copita. Spanakopita? Let me try my hand at this. Oh, go ahead. Spanakopita. Oh, I don't know if that Dip. was better or worse. I don't know. Basically, <laughs> so, okay, we'll say it's a savory blend of spinach, feta cheese, lemon, and fresh herbs served with hot, fresh pita chips seasoned with za- za'atar spice mm-hmm. with fresh cucumber, tomato, and olives. It was $13. It's very much like a, um, a spinach artichoke type dip. Kind of. Kind of. But okay. So there's no there's no artichokes in this, obviously. That's why I said kind of. And the, yeah. the feta cheese makes it a little bit different consistency. Right. But it's the But same. if you're in that ballpark, this is kind of like what's similar if you're trying to think of what this would be like. Except for I think yes. this was better and I loved this. This was so good. So the other thing that made it really good was the chip. So it's actually like pieces of pita bread that they mm-hmm. fry. Mm-hmm. And, and they see you know, they seasoned yeah. a little they bit. They also give you plenty of dip. Like a lot of times on this lately, it's like, you know, you get these things. There's not much dip. There's way too many chips. Well, I was not going to lie. When we first got it on the table, it was in that little like bowl like dish. And I was like, that's not a lot. But it lasted a long time. It so was, looks are deceiving. It was a deeper bowl. It's a deep bowl. Uh, to the point where we asked for more chips and she brought us more. They had to, they had to fresh make them to when they do it. She brought out more. And it almost was worth like two of the thing. And I, and I take heavy spoonful of spoonfuls. I take heavy dips. 
I'm a heavy dipper. Yeah. And when we and talk about chips, we're talking about pita bread slices that are like as big as like a, I don't know, like pe- they're shaped like pizza. It was almost slices. more like pieces of small bread. Yeah. Is what it's it not was. really chips. And it was but really good. Very, very good. Very good. I, Highly recommend this one. I would get this. It was so good. I was very, I didn't think it, it had cucumber. I'm not a big fan of lemon. When we first heard about it, I was like, okay. But I was, it was amazing. Yeah, it was so good. And then the second thing we got, we got, because we got two appetizers. Uh, we also got the, um, the Simolina crusted calamari, which is uh, tender calamari flash fried and served with smoked paprika, aioli, and charred lemon. That was $16. Uh, what did you think of this one? Uh, it was good. I really like calamari. It was good. I wouldn't say it's the best calamari I've ever had. Correct. I but I agree. The sauce with it was good. Uh, it was like an aioli type thing, which I liked a lot. Uh, it was good. It was, again, it was good, but I think the dip was much better. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, uh, like I think we ate all of the calamari, didn't we? Did we oh, I ate everything. It? Yeah, but ate yeah, I just it was. I'm not <laughs> saying it wasn't bad. It just, I mean, I think in terms of at Universal Mamadella's at Portofino, I think the calamari there was better. Okay. Because that's like an Italian restaurant, which calamari, weirdly enough, is like an Italian thing for the most part, usually. Calamari. But uh, yeah, it was it was good, but uh, uh, had better, but still mm-hmm. very, very good. Yeah. So we decided to do two starters and then we were just going to share a main entree because we had that Passover night later that night and we were going to eat some more. But um, so we got those two starters and then we decided to get the Mythos Signature Lamb Burger. And this is hand-packed ground lamb grilled onion, shredded lettuce, fresh tomato, feta olive aioli served with french fries. And this is $22. And they they gave it to us medium. I'm going to let Jared talk about this burger. Okay. So on the show, I talk many times about burgers. I'm, I'm a very simple man. I like burgers, you know, and meat. So burgers have become a thing I've like... I. I feel like I'm harsh but fair when it comes to burgers. Mm-hmm. And lately in the, across theme parks, the burger quality has been lacking. It depends on where you go, but yes. I will say in general, it has yes. not held up, especially since like I would say pre-COVID times. Like Grand Floridian Cafe, I think we mentioned they got rid of yeah. the thermometer so burger. So COVID happened a lot of places <laughs> when we no longer are interested in making good burgers for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> this lamb burger was delicious. Uh, I loved it i was i wanted more Mm -hmm. i actually put this as my second favorite theme park burger that's saying a lot so the number one still being steakhouse 71 at Mm -hmm. contemporary at disney i still think that burger and now i haven't had it in a few months but since i last had it that was the best theme park burger i've had okay but this was number two it had the lamb was juicy and flavorful uh none of it was charred or yep. burnt. It, what none of it was dry. The the sauce on it was really good. The bun was good. I mean, a lot of times with burgers too, like the buns, I, I can kind of make or break it in my opinion. But I think the bun was was solid. I yeah, I like that. Now I say the weakest part of the entire meal were just the French fries, and the French fries were just That's your true. basic French fries. Yeah, they were like theme park French there fries. There was nothing wrong with them. Yeah, but this lamb burger. I, I want to go back here to have this all by myself and not split with you. Listen, I love you. <laughs> I will share my life with you and I will, de- you know, I, I'm devoted to you wholeheartedly, but I don't want to share my food with you if I don't have to. So I would well, like to get my own. He ate about three fourths of this burger and that was okay because he really liked it. And I was like, you know what? That's fine. I'll eat the calamari. I'll eat the dip. I was happy because everything was. That's really right. You good. did take more of the calamari, and I yes. took, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we wanted to get something with lamb in it because I almost got the lamb meatballs in the starters, but I was like, oh, let's just get the burger, and we can get you know we can also get something else with the starters. But, um, but yeah, that's that's what we had. We didn't have any special drinks or anything. We just had water. Um, but everything was really good, and we had heard really good things about this place um service you know, was good too our waitress was good she was yeah she was really nice i mean they have other things like spinach and garlic ravioli they have roasted chicken they have a couscous bowl uh, they have risotto they have lamb loin pork chops salmon pad thai i mean they have a variety of things um it's just that we want to do something with lamb or like gyro meat or something like greek you mean gyros not gyros please stop saying gyros 
<laughs> I like gyro meat. My sister worked at a Greek restaurant when she was like 16, and people would come in and say gyro all the time. It drove her nuts. Don't spell it with a G. It's gyro. Don't have silent letters and words. It's not, okay. It's all like, right. my name is Jared. How do you, you spell that? K J. <laughs> like, why'd you put the K in there? <sighs> okay. But anyway. Listen, you've never been so, more right and more wrong at the same time. You. You Anyways. hush it. You hush it. Uh, very good. I would like to go back here and try other things, but I yeah. w- I would be totally happy going back, having that dip and that burger. Yeah. And uh, I was I was very impressed. This is by far, when it comes to Universal, we've talked about many times, their food, for the most part, still lacks let's say, when you compare it to Disney on some mm-hmm. level. Now, the newer stuff has been very good, but this is one of the better theme park restaurants out of either property, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's good. I think it's, it's very, good. very good. So. I do hope whenever whatever happens, wink, wink, with, uh, you know, this area of the park that this restaurant is left alone. I think it might be. I think they may just slightly retheme it, but it's too good to get rid of. And whoever it has amazing views because, like, we were sitting inside, but they have big windows, and we could see all the way across to um, Captain Captain America's Diner mm-hmm. over in uh, Superhero Island, and like they're seating outside. Like it's it's yeah. great. I mean, whoever runs this place, Universal needs to just get them and like figure out what they're doing and apply it to all the other ones because it's great. I I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. I would go back here and you get again yeah. having being an AP is nice because we got I think we got ten percent off. Ten percent. Yep. So which is which and the prices for theme park sit down restaurants aren't bad. I mean, really. Yeah. I mean, the ravioli was twenty five. The I mean, chicken some, was twenty nine. Some stuff's a bit more expensive, but again, like the burger we had twenty. Mm-hmm. Again, twenty two dollars for a burger is kind of wild, but that's kind of where you go for right theme now. parks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, I think the pricing was pretty fair. If you got an AP, get the discount, and it's really good. I mean, no, yeah, literally no complaints except for the fries. That's it. That's all of it. And I wouldn't put that as a complaint. They're just yeah. basic. Like, they weren't bad. They're just like, there's nothing, there's no difference in these fries versus if you went to a quick service and got fries. That's really the only yeah. downside I would say to it. Yeah. But they have a kid's menu. They have dessert menu. They have a whole beer and wine menu as well. Um, but yeah, that's just what we had. So yeah. yeah, definitely we'll go back there. Would you give it a nine out of 10? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. again, that burger, it easily is like probably the number two now. Like it's that good. Yeah. And even yeah. if, I think even if the lobster thermidor burger, how do you even say that? Lobster the, the thermidor. Thermometer, the thermometer. That they used to have at Grand Floridian Cafe used to be one of my favorite burgers. This one is better than that one, even when it was good. Dang. So it's, that, it's that good of a burger. It's saying something. All right.